Hi, in this video I want to show you how easy it is to set up the display of an RTO6 oscilloscope using its smart grid. Let's have a look. I've set up this instrument with three completely random signals and one math trace. As you can see, the screen is quite messy, so you can't really distinguish between the individual signals and also you don't know where the scaling is and so on. So that's why we use the smart grid on the RTO6 oscilloscopes. Let's start here at the lower left uh, with the signal bar. The signal bar displays the most important parameters for every active signal. Um, it's the vertical scaling, offset and bandwidth settings, coupling and probing information. So we can now take, for example, channel one and drag or drag and drop it somewhere here on the screen. In this case, I want to have a split screen, so I just put it here. And I take channel two below. I add my math trace here at the bottom. Now, if I want to see the math trace a little bit better, I can just click here and make channel one and two smaller and increase the size of my math trace. Um, let's try something else. Let's just quickly activate an FFT from 20 to 400 megahertz on my weird signal here on channel three. And if I do that, I have another uh, panel popping up here that shows some funny spikes. What else can I do? Um, if I have too many signals on my screen and I just need to have a little information, for example, on channel two, I can just minimize it here. So I have a small signal preview that's updated in real time. So let me just take some single shot measurements. You can see that with every one of them, the signal preview here of channel two is updating. All right. I hope that in this video, I could demonstrate you that the smart grid of RTO6 oscilloscopes is really flexible and easy to use. Thank you.